space the ground and say, hey Houston, we got some unidentified objects floating around the outside of the yeah, space yeah, station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the International Space Station Science Garage. And uh, today, uh, Don and I are going to speak with two friends of ours, Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn, who just came back from space. They, right? they felt our... Yeah. Right. This is yeah. <laughs> from my perspective, everything is, is a bit, you know, EVA is great. And so a little bit secondary to what happened in the last few days yeah. as well. And I remember Chris Cassidy, while we're seeing this ammonia coming off, we had no idea where an EVA was coming up. But we were humans making, doing analysis by, through photography and video and helping out the ground. And Cassie said, this is just a great space day. I said, yeah, it is. I mean, it's, there, there's a problem. They, given that there's a problem, it's just great to be able to be out there and uh, help solve it. Um, but being out on the spacewalk, certainly, you know, that's, yeah. uh, it's always a, a cut above. It was so funny, experience. whatever it was, a week ago when Pavel came up to me and said, Chris, <laughs> TV, did you see what I saw at the window? You what I saw at the window? You think it's a small firework. Houston says also the I think I saw little fireworks. Did Houston talk to you about this? And I'm like, what are you talking about, Bob? <laughs> little fireworks? Because it was it was station, it was it? Victory Day in Russia. So I thought he was talking about he was yeah, seeing yeah, fireworks, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I'm going, that's nice. Okay, I'll come look at fireworks yeah. out the window with you. But I don't even know. Get there and there's fireflies coming off our space station. Ooh. Little and because he yeah. has the bedroom on the left side, it was the leak was on mm -hmm. the left side. So he'd been in his bedroom looking out, going, hmm, that's new. <laughs> so he came down to tell me about it. And that was the first indication that we had a hydro or a, a, an ammonia leak was um, was uh, Pavel coming to Chris and I, I I didn't really want to come up on the air to grounds or space to ground and say hey Houston we got some unidentified objects floating around the outside of the yeah, space yeah, station yeah, yeah, yeah. Heather we're seeing some stuff and we don't know what it is you guys seeing anything and they hadn't mm -hmm. seen a thing they thought it was maybe just nominal but mm -hmm. about three hours later their system was fine and they could see that they had a leak and and the game began, yeah. but uh, yeah, it all started with, w with Was Powell. it still making snowflakes by the time you, uh, you got out there, Tom? No, it was periodic. We thought it could because every time that part of the truss hit the sun, suddenly, boom, another yeah. fountain came out. Um, but we, we were very active in trying to get the video, um, the photographs, never once thinking that this would result in an EVA because we're going to leave in four days. Yeah. And there's no way. Yeah, I mean, you'd need at least nine days, you know, yeah. usually a month to plan an EVA. Sure. So we had uh, even discussed it the night before. You kind of led the discussion, and we were like, yeah, yeah, you don't wish for that to happen on the no. station, but you are glad to be part of the solution if it does happen.